Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be talking about drug interactions. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. So we'll begin with what is a drug interaction? A drug interaction is a reaction that occurs between a drug and another substance that causes a change in the action or side effects of the drug. Drug interactions can cause a decrease in efficacy, or how well the drug works, and an increase in side effects and toxicity of a drug. And there are different types of drug interactions, which we'll look at in more detail with some examples. There are drug-drug interactions, drug-dietary supplement interactions, drug-nutrient or drug-food interactions, drug-disease interactions, and drug-laboratory interactions. Before we get into the specific types of drug interactions, we'll look briefly at the causes of drug interactions. They can be pharmacodynamic or pharmacokinetic in nature. Pharmacodynamic drug interactions occur when the effect of a drug is changed by the presence of another substance acting at the same place. Um, these effects can be additive effects, meaning the total effect is the same as the sum of each drug. They can be synergistic effects, meaning the total effect is greater than the sum of each individual drug. Or there can be antagonistic effects. This means the action of the drug uh, would be diminished. Or there are pharmacokinetic drug interactions, and these occur when the concentration of a drug is changed in the body due to the change in clearance, peak levels, things like that. Um, now these type of drug interactions are complex and difficult to predict because they are usually of unrelated pharmacologic actions. We'll look now at the specific types of drug interactions. We'll begin with drug-drug interactions. This is the most common type of drug interaction and basically it's a reaction that occurs between two drugs. Um, possible effects of drug-drug interactions, depending on the specific drugs involved, um, there can be an increase in drug effect. This can lead to toxicity. There can be a decrease in drug effect. This may lead to ineffectiveness or an increase in side effects. Now we'll look at some examples of drug-drug interactions. Warfarin with aspirin, there can be an increased bleeding risk. Um, ACE inhibitors, if you remember, these are the drugs with the suffix pril, like lisinopril, with spironolactone. Um, this can lead to hyperkalemia, which are high potassium blood levels. There's digoxin with amiodarone or verapamil can lead to increased digoxin levels, risk of digoxin toxicity. Um, fluoroquinolones, these were the antibiotics, then, then floxacin, like ciprofloxacin. Um, combined with theophylline can cause an increase in theophylline, theophylline levels, which can increase the risk of theophylline toxicity. Um, warfarin plus fluoroquinolone or macrolide antibiotics like azithromycin, there can be an increased bleeding risk. And the azole antifungals plus statins, there can be an increased statin side effect risk. And there are many other examples of drug interactions, but these are just a few common ones. Now we'll look at drug dietary supplement interactions. Um, this is a reaction between a drug and a dietary supplement. And a dietary supplement, um, we can consider that a vitamin, mineral, botanical, enzyme, um, something like that that's taken in a pill form. Um, some examples of drug dietary supplement interactions, um, antidepre antidepressants combined with St. John's wort. Um, that can cause too much serotonin, which can lead to something known as serotonin syndrome, which include, includes symptoms like high blood pressure, headache, seizure, irregular heartbeats, and things like that. Um, warfarin with, combined with ginkgo can cause an increased risk of bleeding. And there are many other supplements that interact with warfarin. And benzodiazepines, such as alprazolam with kava kava, can cause an increased risk of drowsiness. Next are drug-nutrient interactions. This is a reaction between a drug and a nutrient. And a nutrient is a vitamin or mineral that's in food. And there is some overlap with drug supplement interactions here because the vitamins and minerals as supplements will also interact with, with these drugs as well. So there's warfarin with vitamin K rich foods. This would be like dark leafy greens or a vitamin K supplement. Um, it causes actually an increase in clotting 
and would be a decrease in the eff effectiveness of the warfarin. Tetracyclines plus calcium rich foods such as milk or calcium supplements will get a decrease in the tetracycline levels. Um, fluoroquinolones like the ciprofloxacin combined with calcium, magnesium, iron, or aluminum, um, this would be like in an antacid or something like that, or in a food, they bind to the antibiotic and cause a decrease in levels of the antibiotic. Um, ACE inhibitors like lisinopril with potassium um, causes an increased risk of the hyperkalemia, which are the high potassium blood levels. Now we'll look at drug-food interactions. This is a reaction between a drug and a food. Um, first one we'll look at, this is an older reaction and these drugs you don't see them very often, but it is a commonly known drug-food interaction. That is the Mayo inhibitors. Um, some examples of those are phenylzine or selegiline and combined with tyramine, which is a amino acid in aged or fermented foods such as wine, cheese, or cured meats. Um, it can cause an increase in blood pressure to dangerously high levels. And then another common drug food interaction that, that you do see now is the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitors, like the, the statins, like a torvastatin, with grapefruit. This can cause an increase in statin levels and increase in the side effects of the statins. And I have a chart here of some of the common drugs that interact with grapefruit. Um, these there are, there are several because these drugs are metabolized by the CYP3A4 liver enzyme, which grapefruit inhibits, so that's the mechanism of that interaction. Um, alprazolam, amiodarone, carbamazepine, erythromycin and clarithromycin, cyclosporin, colchicine, philodipine, verapamil, and warfarin. Those are a few other medications that also have the grapefruit interaction. Now we'll look at drug disease interactions. This is a reaction between a drug and a disease. Um, some examples here, beta blockers, such as propranolol, um, these can sometimes worsen asthma if they're the non-selective beta blockers. Um, nasal decongestants, such as pseudoephedrine, these can increase blood pressure to dangerously high levels in patients who already have high blood pressure. Um, aspirin or the NSAIDs, they can worsen peptic ulcer disease or you know, stomach problems. NSAIDs, um, they can also, they can cause fluid retention, which can worsen congestive heart failure. And steroids, such as prednisone, these can increase blood sugar levels, which can worsen diabetes control. And last, we'll look at drug laboratory interactions. This is a reaction between a drug and a lab result. The pharmacologic action of a drug can change the result of a lab test, but the change may be accurate and not interfere with the lab test. Like for example, levothyroxine can increase thyroid levels. So this really isn't a drug lab interaction. But a true drug lab interaction occurs when the drug alters a test specimen or interferes with the testing reagents. Um, this could be something like a false elevation in levels or false positives or negatives. And the most common drug lab interactions are with urine specimens. And just one little example here, um, cephalosporin antibiotics can alter urine glucose and ketone tests. So now we'll just look at a summary and some key points. Um, a drug interaction is a reaction that occurs between a drug and another substance that causes a change in the action or the side effects of the drug. And drug interactions can cause a decrease in the effectiveness of the drug or an increase in side effects and potential toxicity. And the types of drug interactions, there are drug-drug, drug-dietary supplement, drug-nutrient and drug-food, drug-disease, and drug-laboratory. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful. And please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you.